actually still have the sticker on them because I'm like, I want to brag about this. They were 1750. So, like this used to be my style. Is this ugly? Oh my God. I don't want this. Shut up. Okay, we are getting into it today. Everybody, this is so weird because this little camera is delayed and I thought I would put my headphones on so it looks like I'm just having like a FaceTime conversation because we are getting into it today, my friends. I have filmed so much. I just didn't feel right coming back to this little YouTube hiatus without talking to you guys first about some important things, some life things. And I figured we'd just thrift and talk at the same time because honestly, that's what I'm good at. So anyone that saw me at the thrift store today talking to myself, no, I was on the phone talking to my besties. We're gonna go through a bunch of fun questions that you guys asked. 725 has really been hitting these days. These are like a little too dirty for me, but they're really cute. Okay, so the first question was style tips overall. And I feel like I've been just like having a really good time with fashion again. I'll get more into that in a little bit. Oh my God. We're gonna see how many quick little distractions I have in this video. Shut up. Are you seeing these? These are in a size six. I'm so sad, six and a half. If they were cheaper, I'd buy them and sell them, but they're $17. But yeah, overall, my best style tips have just been like being comfortable. I've gravitated back to like the men's section again because everything is so darn comfortable in the men's section as I'm just like peering into the hoodies over here. Cute, cute, cute. I'm getting too many men's things though, so I'm gonna try not to today because the men's stuff definitely takes up a good amount of room. But yeah, just being comfortable, experimenting with different styles. Obviously thrifting is great for that. And get yourself some really good, comfortable, flattering basics. Like I used to be so into the vibrant prints and textures and you guys know, like I was like a flower power kind of pink and orange girl. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I'm not wearing this shit. Like there's a very specific time and place for these things. It wasn't me and when it came to like just creating like a nice solid basic outfit i didn't have those basics so i had to get those basics first and like the cool statement pieces that were in black and white and then i kind of went from there and that's where i feel like i'm kind of at and it's a great feeling feeling like you have the essentials down if you will I'm finally in my size section Let's see if we got anything good i mean I'm really trying not to buy shoes these days you guys because they just crumble on me and it's not a good feeling it is not a good feeling i just dropped my car off because i'm having like a, a leaky tire situation and i'm supposed to go to buffalo tomorrow and they said it's going to take three to four hours so we have all day we really are in no pressing rush over here i'm kind of hoping though that like it doesn't take three to four hours because that's a long ass time that's kind of cute but if it does it does and i will hang out here for as long as i need to Okay, so I'm gonna go right off the bat. A lot of you guys, mostly on Instagram, have been asking me about the thrifting for celebrities thing. And this is gonna be a little secret between the two of us. I'm not actually thrifting for any celebrities yet. Yet is the key word here. I feel like if I just put it out into the universe though, I'm trying to be like a more optimistic, positive person and manifest some things in my life. So that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm just trying to be like, I'm thrifting for you and that's what's actually gonna happen one day. And I honestly, I don't think it's that far-fetched. I see so many celebrities, especially the ones that I personally admire in terms of style, getting their stylist to thrift and do vintage. So I'm just kind of on that wave. And I think if I kind of build things up to a point where someone recognizes them, then I'm gonna get some celebrities and some good thrifted this so just stay tuned but in the meantime it'll be our little inside secret that that's just these are not the things for these people and obviously if i was thrifting for these people i'd be a little bit more specific i'm just kind of using it as like a fun way to go and thrift with more direction right now side note i find so much champion at the thrift store these days it's so funny because it used to be like so hard to find like i'm just into shit like this right now like this with the skirt looks a little shrunken though 
but I love a good green. God, sorry, I'm sniffly. So something else people really wanted me to touch on was increased prices, which look, I used to be like really, really bitter. Oh my God, this is sick. I found a cool Adidas vintage last time and I found one again. That was $5 on the subject of prices. The bigger stores have such good variety in prices. I find like nothing is going to like be consistent through and through. This blue note sweater, that's stunning. Who am I thrifting for today, you guys? Who has preppy ass style? Cause that's apparently the theme, but it really doesn't bother me that much anymore. Like, obviously I wish everything was $5 cause I could buy a heck of a lot more, but at the same time, maybe it's for the best. And it just makes sense when the stores are actually really well kept and there's a lot of employees and they're just constantly stocking things. I made a video recently actually talking about how I love the thrift stores here because they're actually just superior to American thrift stores, which I feel like get often neglected. Besides Savers, I've been to Savers. They're, you know, owned by Valley Village through and through. But yeah, I don't really mind paying more if it means that like the whole experience is gonna be a little bit more enjoyable, if that makes sense. Like, I know we don't have change rooms here anymore, but like everything is so organized as you guys can probably see. And like, I can still get a leather jacket for $25. That's pretty darn good. I can get, oh my God, this is so Phoebe from Friends. Like this used to be my style. Sorry if my hair starts to look like a wreck, but it is what it is. Okay. They're finally putting out puffy jackets. Like this is an awesome puffer and it's 35 bucks. So get your puffers, you know, people. If this was bigger, I'd get it for Daniel, but it's not that big. Someone asked about future travel plans and I feel like that's something everyone's always nosy about because I'm not a big traveler. Honestly, Daniel's not a big traveler and we're just like big homebodies. So we never really like plan big trips. Like we're not a European summer kind of couple. Uh, it ain't us. It ain't us, obviously. But I'm actually going to Buffalo tomorrow and I feel like that's my life story. It's like, oh, I'm going to Buffalo. We were supposed to go to, where were we supposed to go? Sorry, I'm like so sniffly. I definitely should have taken a reactant. Like stop, the men's section. I love this polo sweater. It's giving Brandy Melville, but adult version. <laughs> we were supposed to go to Boston in Connecticut with Rachel and Dylan and Annie and Ryan, but things got switched around and Rachel and Dylan are actually in Asia right now. So can't really plan with them too well, but we're probably just gonna do like a more stunning local trip. Maybe do Montreal, Daniel and I love going to Montreal in the summer and we didn't get to go. So we might do that, do some thrifting, just eat some good food, enjoy like the fall vibes. But other than that, I would obviously like to get to Florida in the winter just to like escape and see some sun. And I'm bringing Daniel with me this time. There's absolutely no chance he's not coming because we've been on this like health kick and obviously seeing the sunshine is a big part of like health and wellness. And I don't know, I think if you have the opportunity to do so, everyone should try and like see the sun. I think last winter was like one of the cloudiest, darkest winters that we have had on record, which is just like a scary thing to think about because the Gap, ladies and gentlemen. We clicked on a thrifting Q&A chatty thing. It's already a chaotic situation to begin with. So I wanna plan some trips. I'm just like, planning trips really stresses me out. Like I'd rather plan work events, like pop-ups and stuff like that, if that makes sense to you guys. And on the whole health and wellness subject matter, some of you guys are so like nosy, but it's like people that don't even follow me ask this question, which I find so bizarre because I'm like, how do you know what's going on in my life? But um, I mentioned, I think in the last video that I uploaded to YouTube about how I wanted to like lose weight. I wanted to be healthy. I just wanted to like feel good again. And I know this is like a very sensitive subject that a lot of people feel like they have to like dance around and stuff like that. But I think it's honestly important that if you're like initiating a healthy lifestyle to share what you're doing, because unfortunately there's so much toxicity out there and like not everything is going to work for everyone. I think that's like a huge issue with TikTok and health culture. It's like everyone's just looking for like the fastest way. They see someone losing weight or they see like 
I don't know, they just see shit and think like, okay, that's what I should be doing. But yeah, you gotta listen to your body and do what's right for you. But Daniel and I have kind of been in it together, which is really great because before we were kind of both like doing very separate things in like terms of health and wellness. And that's honestly really hard to manage, like especially eating, which is two of you, like groceries are so expensive as is. And it was just kind of like inconsistent to be quite entirely honest with you. And the thing that has gotten us to where we both are right now, I think is just like consistency. A couple things like right off the bat, we've just been sleeping better. We've been cutting out gluten and dairy again because I think we're both a little sensitive to one or both of those things. And it's just a lot easier to make like healthy, balanced meals if you cut out those two things. Um, we're exercising. I think I work out like, I work out at least five, that's kind of fire, some dress pants. I work out like five times a week, walking every single day. Um, and honestly, there's like no shortcuts. I was in a phase of like, oh, I can just like find whatever the latest TikTok hack is, like fucking bird brine. Like don't even get me started. But I start, started to realize like, yeah, that shit is just, there's no simple solution to your overall well-being and health. And honestly, I don't want there to be because like I want to feel good and like know that I helped myself feel good if that makes any sense to y'all. But it's overall just been really great and I'm really happy and I feel good again. And I feel like in terms of thrifting, like I was thrifting so much trash because I honestly could not figure out what fit me. And that was a huge struggle. Like the first time in my life where I couldn't like eyeball things and be like, oh yeah, these jeans are gonna fit. These aren't jeans. But now we're kind of getting back there, which is exciting. And I've just like, we've made some really good changes just, you know, not ordering food too. We were ordering so much food. These jeans are sick. Look at that. These probably won't fit me. Like, see, I can eyeball things still and be like, yeah, that's really small size. But um, yeah, we were ordering so much food, you guys, which like, they sneak so many oils and like bad things that are just like also not just fattening, but like bad for your gut, which I was definitely struggling with. And I mean, who isn't? It's definitely an ongoing struggle. Um, hopefully gonna get into more of that. Like if you guys are interested in more details, but I don't wanna make this whole video about this subject, just in case some of you don't wanna watch this part. So that's the gist of it. And if you're trying to do the same thing, you can feel free to message me, but yeah, just like do you and try to eliminate the online noise because it's honestly so toxic. How are we enjoying this format? Please let me know because it's going to be a fun one to edit. Okay, so kind of like off of the whole like losing weight, healthy lifestyle, more about me situation. Someone asked about like house tour potential, like am I ever going to post stuff? There were a few questions about like wanting to see the house and like wanting to see more of that, which I am so down for. Why am I looking at winter jackets? I know it's like fall today, but it's supposed to get warmer. I don't want to look at winter. This is such a sick like vintage ski jacket though. Just a quick little time now. But yeah, I definitely want to post that stuff. We didn't when we first moved just because People are so freaking weird and creepy, especially just if you're posting anything related to housing, like people that don't follow you are going to look it up because it's like a hot topic online. Patagonia. I don't want this, but like for someone else, go, go off. <laughs> it's a mess. But yeah, now I feel like we're finally at the point where I'm down to like share stuff because I feel like people will hopefully respect our privacy and you know, just the fact that it's our home. And it's not just like a video and a free for all because we plan on staying there for a long time, to be honest, no plans on leaving. And it's already been, I think two or three years, which is so crazy, like time flies so fast. But um, yeah, I definitely feel like we've come to a point where like we've, furnished a lot of things too, which that obviously just took time because everything was pretty much secondhand. <laughs> this reminds me of Bridget, this coat. We were just talking about coats the other day. Coat queens. Yeah, the whole process has been really fun and we actually did some like recent, I wouldn't even say changes because there was nothing there before, like 
additions. And it's crazy that it took us this long, but like sometimes you need to live in a space before you know what you want to do with it. I kind of love this. I'll have to try that on. I feel like this style is going to come back with the 2000s winter coat. Not quite as puffy, but still puffy. I'm trying to find an empty ish section. You guys, I'm struggling so bad with these headphones right now. I'm like, do I just take them off and fully commit? But there's like so many people here now, and I'm embarrassed. Anyways, I feel like we're making pretty big, good progress here. I thought I'd be a lot more rambly than I currently am feeling. And maybe this isn't good because, as I said, I have like three to four hours to go because of my car. <sighs> Which, on that note, no one asked. But in terms of like inspiration and stuff and like what I'm about to do, I feel like being in my car, I get so inspired. So that's when I'm like, if she's broken, we ought to fix her slash just the tire because I could not imagine not having access to my car at this very moment. But yeah, maybe it would be good in terms of like not thrifting every single day because I feel like that's all I do. But then you find stunning things like this. Oh my God. Oh my God. She can't beat it. Like this is why I have to come every day because if I don't come every day, then I'll miss out on these beautiful things and I'll be upset. A lot of you guys asked about trends and I wasn't gonna get into it because my real honest truth is like, I literally do not care about trends anymore. And I'm so happy. I used to love making like the trend prediction videos because I thought those were really fun at the time before like Shein really exploded and like everyone was so onto that. Like, I think it really blew up with like TikTok and stuff. But now people are just really reaching with like all these little micro trends or like names for things like I'm sure you've all seen like the videos about like strawberry whatever and just people like naming shit stupid things the sets okay I don't want to feed into it I just want to like do what I want to do and that's not buying into trends like I can't even remember is this ugly I kind of love this scream at me in the comments sometimes I put so much shit in my cart and then when it comes time to like go through everything and I'm in a rush usually I'm like, what the fuck? Why did I put this in my cart? I hate it now. It's ugly. But yeah, I don't even remember the last like trend trend that I bought into or that I shared with you guys. So I guess that's a positive thing because I haven't missed it, to be honest. I have not missed it one bit. I'm trying to think if there is something that's kind of trendy that I bought into that like maybe, oh my God. I return this. It's less than what I paid for. I guess these boots I'm wearing, like motorcycle boots, are like the latest trend that I bought into, but I've always loved boots like this, so I don't know. I think they're a staple too, so hopefully people buy these and actually hang on to them. These ones I thrifted and I've been getting a lot of questions about them. See, like three months ago I couldn't do that. It would win me. They're like a random ass motorcycle brand, but I'll put it here so you guys can like look it up but I've been finding so many like boots that look like this by Harley Davidson. They make a really, really nice pair on Facebook Marketplace, surprisingly enough. And every time I see them, I wanna buy them. Yeah, there's so many, weirdly, on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're looking, just search motorcycle boots, Harley Davidson, Ugh, there's some really stunning ones. I'm like trying not to buy another pair, but they're honestly really comfy too. These ones are a little big. So if I could go back again, I would just get them in a bit of a smaller size because I think these are actually men's, but I got them for such a good deal. I actually still have the sticker on them because I'm like, I want to brag about this. They were $17.50, $17.49 actually, which is kind of unheard of. And I actually, oh my God, I forgot about this. I ordered a really fun pair of shoes last night from a vintage store that's in the city. So I'm going to have to share those with you guys because I honestly think they're the deal of the century. I think I really scored. Oh my God. Okay, polka dots are definitely gonna have a thing. This Jessica dress, that's really cute. I just got a polka dot dress yesterday though, now that I'm remembering, so maybe that's like a trend, but I like to just predict like what we kind of stupidly got rid of that's gonna come back, if that makes any sense. What I'm wearing for fall, I guess you could say these boots. I'm wearing the heck out of these boots. I'm wearing a lot of like, kind of just like this, like shorts and sweaters and gone back to the men's section but then I love a good gown moment too. Like how stunning is this? 
sadly I have no more weddings to attend. <laughs> Which honestly I'm not sad about. Weddings are kind of time consuming and expensive, even though I'm happy for everyone. They just become like a big deal at this stage of life. And I didn't really like mentally prepare myself for that. But people need to come and scoop these dresses up because I'm at this location like once a week and there's stunning dresses that are always left here. So come and get your gowns, ladies. If that's boring, I don't know, but I feel like my outfits will be better than they were before because I look back and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I put that on. So what's an item I would splurge on? Because pretty much everything, literally everything I buy is thrifted. I don't know. To be honest, I try not to even like tempt myself by going on like Essence and all these sites that sell bougie expensive things because every time I look on there, I'm just like, I could thrift this. I could literally thrift everything. It's my superpower. I know there's probably things. Oh, I have a good one, actually. Uggs. I really want new Uggs. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm waiting for because they're honestly, they're going to sell out. I just don't know which ones I really need yet, but that's something I need. I need running shoes, which I'm definitely not gonna be thrifting. It's, it's, a little, it's a little gnarly for me. I've never like been a big like thrift running shoe kind of gal, unless they're like more of a casual shoe that you can tell hasn't been worn too much. So like some running shoe that someone's ran in. I'll take the new ones. Aside from that, there's no like designer-ish items or anything and Maybe that'll change after, but for now I'm quite happy and content because I really don't want to be spending money on that kind of shit. Ooh. Rather genuinely like buy a new piece of furniture or something, buy a new camera. I don't know, just other, other things. It's just stunning. I feel like I have, oh. okay, we'll try this one because it's cute. I love like the, um, long sheer slips. They're usually tied into the nightgown section or the one piece section. I don't know why they used to be like here with all the other stuff. Oh my God, stunning. Is this Gap? What the fuck? Old Gap used to be so good. I'm like really happy with my Gap purchases or selections. Yet again, Gap coming through. Like if Gap just did some things gap can be great again but it is what it is maybe we don't need the gap in our lives hmm oh coats are so many goats like I thought I went through coats but there's more can't wait to whip out my big Max Mara coat that I literally got for $25 that was like probably my second best thrift find after the Versace dress to be honest just because everyone always asks I feel like kind of a redundant question. If you know me, you probably know the answer already, but those Max Mara coats are freaking pricey. And I would never have bought one on my own. Like, I had the Aritzia dupe, which honestly wasn't great. The quality was not there. Aritzia is just really not the vibe for me currently. It's not the vibe. It's like gone way downhill quality-wise, and I'm just sick of it, to be honest. Okay, so there's only two questions left that I like prepared answers for. Someone got it wrong. Was asking me about like Taylor Swift and I was like, you got the wrong girl over here. And then the other question was about Goge, Miss Goge Goge. And I love answering Goge questions because to be honest, if you're ever wondering what I'm doing with my time, it's probably just obsessing over her because she's literally the best thing that ever happened to Daniel and I. Sometimes we sit at home and we're like, why did we ever, like, why did it take us so long? Obviously it took us so long for a reason because we went to bend it up with her and she's literally perfect. She does a lot of funny shit, but like cute, funny, I guess like trying to eat my hair while I sleep sometimes. Um, trying to make sure I don't wake up bald one day because that would be quite traumatizing. I wouldn't be down. And I don't think that would make her feel great either. But she loves her yogurt. She's such a weird cat in terms of like food. She doesn't like like salty sardines, but she likes yogurt. So I don't know. We gotta figure out her 
taste buds, but I mean, I guess maybe she's being a little healthy queen. There's this made of this sweater. It's acrylic. Oh wow. Shit, that's actually well made. Costa Blanca. Good job. I hate when I see shrunken, like, good wool sweaters. It's so sad. But I mean, I've done that myself, so I can't judge. Yeah, on kind of a separate note, I'm really excited for Goji's first Christmas because she was born in November, but we didn't get her until January, and I'm a little worried that she's gonna tear down the tree because she loves to you know, just be like normal cat silly, you know, like climbing things and bury yourself in things and try and eat things. So if anyone has any tips like in advance, let me know. Obviously fake tree, because I don't want her getting sick. We'll probably still keep her in our bedroom when we go out, just so that things don't become a mess. Because whenever like something breaks or whatever, like she just wants to eat it, which I feel like she needs to stop doing before we can like fully trust her. And that's kind of cute. I feel like Scala. This is probably like a dress set. It's okay. Got all these amazing things. Do a quick little. Whoop. I'm gonna do a little reel going through what I got just because that's the easiest way to do it. I feel like you guys got the juice of the video, but hopefully you'll see me again very soon. I'm feeling optimistic that that will actually be the case this time. And yeah, make sure you're following me on Instagram. So if I do this again, if you guys like this, you can be involved, but fingers crossed my car's done in like five minutes and I'll talk to you guys later.